Sports. Most little girls dream of being ballerinas and princesses. But Anna Sui says she knew she wanted to be a fashion designer since she was four years old. And she's been able to realise that dream. What started out as a small homegrown fashion label launched out of her New York City apartment in 1980 is now a business turning over hundreds of millions of dollars a year. It's still a private company but has grown beyond clothing to include cosmetics, accessories, fragrances and a range of licensed products. There's even a Barbie doll. Today, Anna Sui products are sold in 30 countries. I met up with the American designer in her Hong Kong boutique and asked her what breeds success. Is it luck? Is it creativity and focus? Or is it something else? Yeah, so that's right. I think it's a matter of timing too. I think you have to be in the right place at the right time and understand that and know that when it's your time and how, how you react to it and how you respond to it. There was one moment when I realized that it was really the right time. Um, I went to the Paris fashion shows for the first time and we happened to be going to a Gaultier show with Madonna and when she took her coat off she looked at me and she said, Anna, I have a surprise for you and she was wearing my dress. And that gave me so much confidence to realize that someone that could have anything was wearing my dress. Uh, you've been quoted as saying that you couldn't even balance a checkbook when, when you began all those years ago, but you do have your Chief Executive Officer, Michael Pellegrino, doing the numbers. But how important is it for someone like you to understand the business side of what's going on? Well, I think that um, in the beginning, I kind of just wanted to do the clothes that I wanted to do. And little by little, you realize that you have to analyze what, how it did and, and what sold and what people are asking for and what is it that your strengths are and what your weaknesses are and learn to balance those things out. Do you think people are born to be good business people or do you think that you can actually learn how to do it? I think in my case I kind of learned it. I, I think that I, it, I never intended being a business person, I wanted to be a fashion designer. I thought I was going to be, you know, sketching pretty dresses and going to lunch every day. And it hasn't turned out that way. So why did you choose to become more involved in business when you could have, I guess, stayed very much just on the creative side of things? I think I got really interested in it. I think that that was just as creative as designing the clothing. So it's something I grew into and um, I enjoy just as much. Do self-made people like you actually retire? I think about that all the time and I have this fantasy that I'm going to work at a museum someday. I would love to do something like that. Why a museum? I love research. I love learning about new things and I love learning what's behind it and behind that and behind that. So it can go on and on and that's what I do every collection. So why not do it in a different way at a museum? 